Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Mon tutorial. In today's episode, we are going to be working on some properties of our entity, including making animations for the walking and rotating of the villager head. Also, we are going to be changing its um, health and damage it can do, and a few other properties, as well as you can add some different AI to it. So let's get started. Before we start, I would like to thank you all for 500 subscribers, approaching 550 as I record this video. So thank you very much for that. I'll continue to post videos with all the support. This video will be a bit short though, as I don't have that much time. I haven't had that much time in the last couple of weeks, but I will try and upload more videos coming up soon. So firstly, we're going to work on the animations for our entity. In your model center here, we are going to want to control space and type set rotation angles. This is a different to set rotate angle. This is a function from tabular, whereas this is the Minecraft function. So set rotation angles has lots of these float limb swing, float limb swing amount and all that. All this is reference to these Fs up here in render. Just you don't really have to understand what they mean. So firstly, we're going to want to rotate each leg. We're going to rotate them on angle X, as that is forwards and back. So this dot front left leg dot rotate angle X is equal to math helper dot cos limb swing times times 0.6662f close bracket times 1.4f times limb swing amount this all comes from the original the original cow class but basically, it's just calculating how far, how far forwards and back to rotate the leg. The rear left leg will also do the same thing. So copy it. This dot rear left leg. Rotate angle X, limb swing times 0.662 times 1.4 times limb swing amount. Same thing. And then the other two will do similar things a bit differently. So this dot front right leg is going to be limb swing times 0.662 plus then in brackets float math dot pi and then also add this to the the rear right leg So that is all the legs rotating forwards and backwards. For the villager head, it wants to look up and down as well as left to right. So this dot villager head dot rotate angle y is going to be net head yaw. This is just a value for how far up and down it goes times zero point. Zero one seven four five three two nine two F. It's a very specific value that Minecraft gives. I assume it's been calculated for some reason. Not sure why. But then you can copy this, change it to rotate angle X, and change net head yaw to head pitch. So that's the villager head rotating left and right. And that's everything for the model class done. It is rotating, all the things should rotate correctly. Now we're going to adjust some of our properties of our actual entity. So go into your entity class, entity center. Firstly, in this constructor, this dot set size. If we go into entity cow, it's 0.9 and 1.4. 
our entity is the same width, 0.9, but its height it will be 2.8. That's about twice the height. We are then going to override init entity AI. You can add any different AIs you want, though it can be found using just entity AI and then control space, and that will look at all the entity AIs. I'm going to take all the ones from cow for now. And, but instead of making it tempted by wheat, and it's a bit weird, I would have any other item. I might make a crop sooner in the future, but item in it, dot in got copper. I'm going to have that as its tempting thing. And then apply entity attributes. The ones you want to look at here, well, you want to leave it as super for now. But this dot get entity attribute shared monster attributes dot and then you can look at all of these things here. The ones you always want to adjust are max health. So set base value. The normal cows is 10 to 10.0d 10 10 will refer to 5 hearts or 10 half hearts. I'm going to make it have 40.0d, um, so 20 hearts, or 40 half hearts. And movement speed, you're going to want to have to look at other um, monsters movement speeds, as this value is very different. If we look at entity cow, its movement speed is not uh, basically 0.2. So you really don't want to, and the cows move pretty fast. I'm gonna make mine move around slightly faster than the cow, 0.25. But even minor adjustments to this value can make a big difference to movement speed. Say this was one, your cow would be running around ridiculously fast, it running everywhere. And then finally, the final ish thing to get rid of the disappearing issue, um, get eye height override it its eye height is going to be about 2.6 F just below its actual height so we can look up at its eyes at 2.6 F so go into resources assets lang entity dot centaur dot name equals centaur. Now this should, all our properties should work on our entity now. I apologize for this being such a short video. Um, I don't have that much time to make it, so I will be trying to make some more consistent videos in the future. Now I have um, have more time. But let's have a see if our properties and um, animations have applied. I will spawn a new one. And as you can see, if we can put, punch it, it runs around like a normal cow would. And its head can move as well. So all its animations are working. A diamond hot sword does 7 attack damage. And we set it to have 40 health. So if we hit it 8 times with the diamond sword, it took 6 times with the diamond sword. 6 times 7 is 42, so we did enough damage to kill it. So, if you have enjoyed this video or found it useful, please hit the like button down below and subscribe for more videos. As I said, I'll be uploading more consistently for the next few weeks as I have more time. But obviously, around the Christmas period, um, there won't be that many videos. I'll try and prepare some. Once again, thank you for all the subscribers and the consistent support. And thank you to my two people who donated me on Patreon. If you are interested and want to help out the channel, then you can go and look up the Patreon link in the description. It's not obligatory, my videos will always be free. So thanks for watching, my name's been Harry, and goodbye.